Hi guys, so here I'm going to show you really quickly how to use the efaxing feature that we have built into our phone system. So I will send you an email or a document showing you which web address you want to go to. So you'll s you just open up either Firefox or Chrome. I have Firefox open here. Go up to the top bar and just type in the address that I'm going to give you. So in this case, in this example, we're going to use 10.0.0.210 slash UCP for user control panel and enter. And you're going to see this login page here that says user control panel. So we're going to log in with the credentials that I've supplied to you. Usually we'll use fax and then um, I will give you the password in, in the other document or the email. Once you log in, you're going to come to the screen here. And in order for you to check your faxes, you go on the left side and you select fax right here. And this number here where it says zero, that will be the number of new faxes, of new unread faxes. We don't have any here in the account right now. So this will show you a list of all the faxes in your account. This is your inbox. It shows your outgoing ones which are sending. It shows your sent faxes and it showed your shows your failed faxes. And it'll show keeps track of all of those right in here in this web interface here. And it will allow you to download it or preview the fax right from this page. Now to send a new fax, you want to click this button up here, send a new fax and the destination we're going to type in the number exactly as if we were going to dial it and we will use an example right here you type in the destination number exactly as you would dial it in the phone system so here we go we're going to fax it to 1-855-330-1 we can turn the cover sheet on if you want to type in the person that you're sending it to the message that you want it to say and it will pre-fill your your company name email address and telephone number here in most cases so we'll go upload it go and upload the document we choose a PDF file to attach go to open and then you go to send and you'll see preparing to send. It'll tell you right up here what it's doing. Check outgoing for more information. And it's retrying the facts. And then once it's done, it will either go into sent or it will go into failed. And that's how you'll know if the fax was sent successfully. We can enable email confirmations of every fax that's sent if that's, a f if that's an option that you would want to have. Alright, so that's how you use the faxing interface. Um, any questions, just let me know, and um, hope you have a great day.